This video is just a short demonstration to see if I could get a dynamic microphone from an old Sony TC200, just like you see there, and to see if I could get that to operate well, or at least somewhat uh, reasonably well, on a Linux laptop here using a USB sound card line input. I'll go ahead and show the uh, setup that we're using here. We had to use about 25 dBs of gain with this simple amplifier as the first stage. So we have the line input dynamic microphone going into the 25 dB amp. And the first plugin we're using is the DSer. And this does a fairly good job. And as you can see, the gain reduction. So the DSer is working. <laughs> So that does a pretty good job. And the next plugin we have is an equalizer. And this is just to uh, adjust some of the frequencies of your voice. And this is what it sounds like without the DSer. And there's a little bit of uh, tinniness to it. And we'll bring the EQ back in. I added just a little extra bass for some emphasis just to demonstrate the EQ itself. So that's going. The next plug-in we have is a gate, and that eliminates the background sound. This is what it sounds like without the gate. And you have that hissing in the background. And now the gate's back in. The next plug-in is just a 2 to 1 compressor. The ratio is 2 to 1, and that keeps the uh, from going too far on the peaks. And this uh, CAF mono compressor seems to do a pretty good job. And this is what it sounds like without it. And you can hear there's just a little bit of distortion. And now we're back to where it should be as far as uh, trying to minimize that amount of distortion. So for a uh, cheap dynamic microphone from about 1960, <laughs> Uh, this is doing uh, a job that's not too, too awful, I think. And thanks for watching.